What's going on? The young lady that you see get struck. Her name is Lakisu Thomas, 43 years old. This happened February 22nd on 74th and Racine in the Inglewood area. The young man that ran the red light is only 20 years old, Isaac Wade. He's facing felony, reckless homicide with the motor vehicle. He's also facing driving without a license and driving an uninsured vehicle. Dude, he... The family wants to know first, why in the entire fudge was he out on bail for attempted murder of 2017 of allegedly two teens? Family wants to know why was that bail set so low? He, he was able to bail at $15,000. He got out. Uh, I want to show, and they also want to know, was the police pursuing him and why? So that's a police vehicle right there with their lights on seconds after the crash. And they're saying, yes, it looks as if the police were already in pursuit and that's why he ran the red light. But in this particular case, I'm not gonna blame the police. They can't just keep letting people go. Every time they try to pull somebody over, they pull off and just let them go. All right, um, so, Family wants answers on what happened, just to get a clear view of what happened. Um, I want to take you guys to where it happened. At This is the intersection here. This intersection right here. So he ran this red light and ran it to a right here. All right. This is the area here. Oh. A little police officer. Subway. So, that's the area there. Somebody put my heartaches and the sudden loss of your presence here. But it's more broken to know your children have to be without you. Rest in peace. Okay, so Thomas, you'll definitely be missed. Assuming this is her Facebook page. And it's private. You can see... It appears that may be a son. She had three kids. I think one was 23, one was 10, and the other one was four. Family wants answers. Why was he initially free? You know, J.B. Prisker's reform bill, amongst those, he's eventually doing away with cash bonds. Meant to, uh, persons of danger to the public. We need answers. We need to know what happened. So he was attempted murder in 2017 and seriously injured two teens in Gage Park on the southwest side. 2016 with the armed robbery, death of unlawful use of weapon. Dang, dude. $15,000 bail. Um, they want to know why was he facing attempted murder charge and able to get out of bail with a small amount of money. Why did the police pull him over Monday? A few blocks before the fatal crash. Why did the officers get chased inadvertently leading to the crash? Now, I wouldn't. I don't want to blame them. They can't just keep letting everybody go. Everybody they try to pull over, just let them go. Oh, okay, he let off. He sped off. I'm going to let him go. Because now that's just inviting everybody to say, Ooh, they pulling me over. Speed off. They can have a dead body in the back of the trunk or guns, drugs, stuff like that. So, you know, I'm not going to. Assume that the police are at fault in this dude, young brother, is, I, is definitely um, to blame in this. And sometimes, you know, people, you know, older, when I was younger, they was like, man, hey, some of these young cats need to st sit in jail and learn from a lesson. Obviously, he didn't learn from his lesson. You on bail. Why are you driving without a license and an insured vehicle? And why are you running from the police? You obviously didn't learn your lesson. Now you're facing reckless homicide with a motor vehicle. If they give you a deal, it's going to be that you're still facing that reckless homicide, reckless homicide and attempted murder. He probably do at least 50 years in jail. Do be ever lucky to be ever get out of out of jail. 20 years old, his life is gone. But her life is gone at 43. So this is definitely a tragic unfortunate mishap 
Now, everybody's been looking at this story here. 32-year-old Lamar Graves has been charged with aggravated DUI. That's him right there. And somebody wrote, you know, he's 32 years old. Allegedly killed four people out one night. They're saying um, he was intoxicated, allegedly. And now you're responsible for four deaths. I want to tell you young people, it is not worth it. Young people, old people, anyone. DUIs are not worth it. I'm going to tell you why. For one, first, of course, you can kill somebody. And due to your reckless mishap, ruin four beautiful young lives. That's one. Two, every DUI is at least $20,000. And I'm going to tell you why. A DUI costs twenty. dollars First, you got to uh, get your car out of the pound. Um, mandatory lawyer, that's twenty five. Getting bailing out of jail. You're going to spend at least 1000 getting your car out. Um, bailing out of jail. Mandatory lawyer, mandatory classes, breathalyzer, sus um, suspension, classes. It ain't worth it. The device in your car, um, the classes you got, the um, impact victim impact panel. Um, if you're going to go out and drink, do it in moderation. Make sure you eat a good meal before you do. Also, try to drink water in between. It ain't worth it. It is not worth it. I want to take you guys out. For one, this particular story. Um, man charged with Rolling Meadows crash that killed four, including a young boy, 32-year-old Lamar Graves of Bellwood, four counts of aggravated DUI involving death. Herlanda, 47, they were sisters, Stacey Harris of Schomburg, the son who was, um, 16 and a six-year-old boy. They were going out there to help the young boy, Jeremy. They were out there to help the young boy. I guess that's the young boy right there. His car had stalled. And they were going out there to help him. Man, y'all, pay attention to these laws, man. Young people, pay attention to it. Anybody, everybody, pay attention, man. DUIs, your second one, class four. Felony, man. Minimum sentence to one to three years, but aggravated. Any felony is aggravated. Mean, yeah, the felony, when it comes to felony, is aggravated. Pay attention to the laws. Understand it, man. It is not good. And with a felony, that follows you for life. And a DUI stays on your driver record forever. The fourth DUI offense is a non-probational class two felony. The accused is ineligible of probation and found guilty. We had to serve three to five years, seven years. So he's facing four counts. Four counts. So it happens somewhere up here. Anyway, you know, somebody wrote under my uh, comments that here go a man, 32 years old, probably enjoyed a night out drinking, kicking it with his partners, and probably like everybody that goes to the bar, kick it, have a few drinks, go to the crib, and the slightest mishap. Tire life. If y'all watch the movie Seven Pounds, gotta eat them alive every day. Because he has to live with that. That he's responsible for four people perishing. Even if he only gets 15 years, you know, he still got to live with that when he gets out. Even a six-year-old boy. Anyway, for those of you on Facebook, go to My Life in the Shy, My Life in the CHI on YouTube. Hit that notification bell so when I go live, y'all can come in. All of you guys, everybody watching this, comment. Let me know who you are, where you're from. I read all my comments. Make sure you guys like, subscribe. Let me know what you think about this video. 
Peace, peace.